Set in front, that deflects off a of body and down low. Boshinsky playing along the wall. He's able to catch back up to it. Carlson there to supply support. Then ahead of Angelisti, down deep. Palasics sending it low. They got a man in front, that's Craddock. He had a goal last night. Another given yeah. goal, they score! All the deep, the Liberty Flames got sucked in down deep, guarding Craddock, and it allowed Palasics to sneak into the high slot and shoot the puck far side. Josh Halpin, he couldn't see it. The eyes were taken away. Obviously, that screen in front from Craddock and his D-man standing there. Wasn't able to track the puck. Played up Blomberg, looking for Barima potentially. Holds on to it, though. Send it in. Baird has that go off the stick. Blomberg knocks it down. He fans at it. Able to keep it in. Barima off a of body. Another chance. Barima holding on. Looking for a man in front. The wraparound. He scores. What a goal. Unbelievable patience from Timberima. His initial shot is blocked. He holds it, holds it. Instead of shooting it into defenders, he's going to walk all the way behind the net and stuff it on the far post for the wraparound. Tie game, one to one. And that felt like it was in slow motion there, just watching him pick his chances, look around. Ends up getting all the way around the net. You got to give it to Sparky. <laughs> Responded quickly last night after Liberty scored their first. Lampron to Hazel. His shot. They score! Two nights in a row. And that's exactly what you don't want. You want the fans to get into it. You know, Flames could get some energy off the crowd here, but the Bobcats do exactly what you need, need to do on the road. and. Even it up by getting the fans and all the energy out of the building. Hazel takes the shot from the point. Big repound comes out, and Lampron's there. Lampron's there just to bury it. He just sneaks in behind the defense. Coming in with speed, similar to the goal we saw last night. D's unable to pick him up. He wasn't like he was standing there, camped out. If that was charging, I could put a sweater on and go out here and play with the guys. Kirk Shank. It's along the wall, played back deep. Out to the line, Houston. Comes back to him. Near side is shot, they score! Tipped in front. Baird's shot just went through the legs of Matt Crookshank, making it difficult for Josh Halpenny to track. I wonder if it got deflected in front. It looked like it changed directions. Yeah, it, it definitely did. Went from, it was close to about four inches off the ice and it got up in a hurry after that shot. After it went through Kirkshank's legs. Now the major penalty being what it is, the Flames will remain on the penalty kill for the duration, the last four minutes. Yeah, I believe it went off of Kirkshank's skate, not just between his legs, but it hit his skate, deflected up and over the glove of Josh Halpenny. Icing waved off. Coach Berthium not understanding, he throws his hands in the air, not liking that call. Drop back, Gameron across the line, trying to make a move, knocked off a stick. Wyshynski fires it down and around. Oh, a giveaway by Cox. Tons of speed, Lubin scores! That's that pass to the point. Jared was just talking about that. It was open last period, Bobcats have adjusted. It's no longer, uh, a guaranteed pass that's going to be uh, not intercepted. Heck of a read by Lubin. Goes in on the breakaway. Josh Halpenny's five hole. Great move, too. Kept his open. Keeps his legs moving almost the whole way to the net. Doesn't pause for a second. That kind of speed is tough for a goalie to read on which way he's going to drive. And When you come in with speed, the goaltender now has to account for two dimensions. Not just right or left, but also forward and back. Which is always a good idea. Roberts. Fricks. Boshinsky cycling it deep. Gamer going back door. The pass was blocked. Brema throws it out in front. Gamer scores! Cole Gamer just batted that puck out of midair. Yeah. 
And what, what a different looking power play, eh? Like, all of a sudden, like you were saying, all sorts of urgency right out of the gate there. They they willed themselves a goal. Barima the just throws advantage. that, throws that to the middle, gets deflected by the stick of Jimmy Thomas, floats up in the air, Cole Gammer there to baseball, swing it. Gammer, the Edmonton boy, making his way through the neutral zone like a hot knife through butter. Still holding on to it. He's in! Scores! Cole Gammer with a goal! Caught the entire Ohio Bobcats team flat-footed. Speed to the neutral zone, driving wide. Walking to the front of the net, lifting it over Jimmy Thomas. It actually looks like the back check Deflected the puck off of Cole Gamer's stick and up over the goaltender. Three flames covering low. Shirts tried to pin it off along the wall. Crookshank has it. He tried to play it back. And now the time will expire. Is looking after it with Shirts. Ohio walks in the Liberty, sweeps the weekend series, winning both by one goal. And you got to think they got a little bit lucky with that one goal getting called off, but I mean, they put up four goals before that luck, so I mean, they still worked hard and earned that earned that break. But uh, tough one for the Flames here. A depleted lineup coming down to Lynchburg, Virginia, battling hard and winning two hard-fought efforts. We'll be back with the post game in just a moment.